everybody to the bourbon whisperer tasting uh, we are here with chris green of spirit usa makers of the new legends line of bourbon and some other uh liquors that we're going to talk about today uh chris is joining us uh in a, a reboot of an attempted meeting the other day we found out that at five o'clock six o'clock is about the uh, most challenging time to try to do yeah. an interview with everyone on how you doing chris good good yeah it's been a good productive day today so we're, we're gearing up uh, our sales force with our distributors to start hitting multiple counties, get out there. We're, we're about to start hitting Augusta pretty hard. Um, so it's been a productive day. I, the Zoom thing is amazing. Uh, I had a Zoom conference today with almost 30 people, and it went without a hitch. So we'll see how the day goes with just me and you. That's right. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be much better than it was the other day when I had to take to the trees to try to get a signal. Yeah. Um, uh, so... So a little history behind this. So I am uh, hearing in the market, I'm here in the North Atlanta uh, area market, and I start seeing uh, a feed on, on Instagram about Legends Bourbon, and I look up the address, and it is literally down the street from me. Now, that, that's a little embarrassing for me to not know that that's coming up, and then it's a, it's a great surprise. So, uh, so I get over there and find out what's going on, and everyone is uh, dutifully wearing their masks, and people are driving through and trying out the new product. So, so tell uh, everybody a little bit about what Legends Bourbon is. is uh, share this a little bit about the uh, people behind the product. Yeah, so uh, the company is actually Spirits USA, and we've been around since 2007. And back then, we had a different line of uh, products out that was called Dead Man's Rattlesnake and Coyote, and it was rums, vodkas, tequilas. Uh, and we were actually like a platinum award winning. And so we launched in 2007 and of course, 2008 was the recession. So a lot of people you know, just put a hold on everything. And so we kind of just froze the company for a little while and waiting for a rebrand. And while we were basically on hold, uh, we started coming up with this technology. And uh, my, my CEO, Michael, and his real good friend, Johnny, who's from uh, Alabama, came up with this quantum purifying technology and it took them about five years, almost six years actually, to get the technology right. And uh, many barrels of bourbon, lots of GNS being used and many, many tasting sessions. Um, but they finally got it down and once they did, the first thing we did was got it patented. And so we had to get the patent on it, wait for that to come in before we put it out anywhere near the market. Uh, so that delayed us a little bit, but we had to cover our bases on this. This technology is it's so, mind-blowing 21st century technology and to bring that into the age-old tradition of you know distilling um it's one of those things where you don't want to mess with what tradition is but we want to also enhance so what we end up doing is uh playing our cards right took our time got this technology down exactly where we wanted it to be and then we launched spirits usa again uh back in october and the first brand that we wanted to come out with was Legends. Uh, rather than bringing out what we've done in the past, we decided to move forward and do something new. So we came up with a Legends brand where we're doing a, a vodka, 87 bourbon, and a 100 bourbon. And utilizing uh, product, we're, we're bringing in all of our mash from uh, MGP. And so we're bringing it in two year minimum age barrel, virgin oak barrels for the bourbon, GNS in its pure form, and then proofing. Chris, for some for some reason, I just lost audio on you. Can you check check your audio setting? Oh, I lost you there. But say it again. No, there you go. I, <laughs> you just came back. Your audio had cut out for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got full bars, but God knows, you know. Yeah. I'm paying for three hundred megabyte download, but I, I guess I'm not getting it. <laughs> so um, yeah. So uh, once we got the quantum purifying down pat, we started running with it. And what our technology does, it reduces the congeners in alcohol by at least fifty percent. And so you're removing that burn, that toxin burn that's actually hitting the back of the throat, which I know bourbon drinkers, they, they tend to like a little bit of heat, um, but we, we haven't sacrificed the actual profile, the flavor profile of what we're making. We're just eliminating that back burn heat, and then it hits you in the belly and you get this warm sensation. So I'm, I'm going to walk through, I'm going to use my, um, 
my plug of the day for um, Whistle Pig Speakeasy in Bardstown. If you guys have been to Bardstown, oh. you can stop by. We hold there. We can see it. The Whistle Pig, uh, or the Whistle Pig, the Blind Pig Speakeasy in Bardstown. And I have them up here on my Legends shelf. I'm going to start with the 86 proof now. Um, 87. Uh, yeah, or 87. Why do I say 86? I like 86. 87 is even better. And I'll join you. Cheers, mate. Right. Cheers. It's great. So as you can see, it's got some good, you know, some good color to it. You can tell it's a two, two or three years old. What, um, what has surprised you most with regards to the market demographics when you started selling this? Because you didn't start selling it long ago, but it's been selling heavily. Um, we, while we had everything ready to ship, uh, we had pallets upon our, you know, product made. And then when COVID-19 hit, it put a stop on all new shipments going out. And so we had to kind of revamp what we we're going to do. And so we had a brainstorming session. We're like, let's just go curbside straight to the consumer from the distillery, applied for our license, got it the same day, and um, hit the market that way just to create cash flow and to get the brand out so we can well, start. It, it was about. brilliant because those were the shots that I saw, Chris, where, you know, you guys standing out there, uh, you know, with yeah. the fully masked up, properly masked up, and people driving through to pick up their bottles, and those were the, those were the images that caught me. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's, that's great. That's a, that's a great notable way to get started. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, what, what the biggest shock was to me, so we, we obviously had a lot of uh, guys coming to the, to the distillery. Mm -hmm. And then we went from having a, a lot of guys showing up to a lot, a lot of women. And what was happening is guys were going back with their bottles of bourbon and buying vodka for, the, for their wives or girlfriends. And then the wives were also drinking bourbon and they were coming back to the distillery without their husbands and saying, I tried your bourbon and for the first time ever I could finish it because without the burn, I actually enjoyed what I was drinking. Sure. And so they would buy a bottle of bourbon for themselves and not tell their husbands. So that was their own little secret stash. And so we found that a lot of women really did enjoy the bourbon. So we're bringing that back. It's, it's the first thought that I have because the, the notable about this and, and when I came, you know, came by the distillery um, uh, last week, and we may have had a little nip uh, while I was there, maybe, uh, may, maybe. Um, but you get you get um, you know the, the signature, a little bit, a little bit of spice, a little bit of rye. Um, uh, not anything, not anything overpowering. Just a very nice rye bottom of the front, and then it ghosts. It it just goes over, and then it 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 gets all the way down to your stomach, and then it's almost like it it sends a telegram back up saying, "Hey, honey, I got home." Uh, it's it's the wildest thing <laughs> because everything in between. So. Um, I may or may not have, have been enjoying this on another Zoom call uh, recently, and um, I it, it is extremely easy to drink, extremely easy, you know, when, you, when you're, uh, you know, especially when you're distracted by something else and you're just looking for a little beverage, very easy. Um, I could completely see where you could enjoy this safely at home, um, and it would get the better of you. So, so if it does, what happens the next morning, Chris? So the great thing about our product, uh, because of the technology, is that me and you can split a bottle of bourbon, 87 or even the 100 bourbon, mm -hmm. have a good time drinking it. The next day, because we've reduced the congeners, you wake up with no hangover. You get no headache, you get no nausea feel. Now you'll have a little dehydration, because mm -hmm. that's naturally with, with the alcohol. But if you drink water you know, before you go to bed or some ridiculous thing like that, then you'll be fine. Sure. Um, but yeah, we, we put it to the test many times. We've challenged every single customer that's came to us uh, we even challenge the store owners when we're selling this at the, at the stores, when we do our sales calls, mm -hmm. we go in, we give them a bottle and I challenge them, go get drunk, call me the next day, let me know how you feel. And every single one of them's taken me up on the challenge because who doesn't want to get drunk? <laughs> and every time it's the same thing. Like they call me up saying, man, you weren't lying. Woke up feeling great. And uh, that, that's, that's the beauty of our technology. Not only are we creating a technically healthier product yeah. by reducing the toxins, We've eliminated the backburn and we've eliminated the hangover. And bourbon hangovers can be can be brutal depending on what you're drinking. Um, there's I've nothing worse than a wine. A wine hangover is one of the worst. Right. Um, but the bourbon hangover, depending on what you're drinking, can be quite brutal. Mm. And so we've essentially eliminated the hangover. Um, now, obviously, we cannot put that on the bottle. We will not put that in writing um, sure. because there's you know we promote drinking responsibly sure we don't suggest that you sit there and drink a bottle of liquor by yourself right but if you did 
you will wake up and you won't have the effects of it. So the, um, uh, I'm wondering, have you gotten any feedback in regards to using it in cocktails? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we actually did uh, some with bar owners and restaurants owners. We had them start making cocktails and to try and get feedback on that. And the 100, which you're pouring right now, if I'm not mistaken, yes, makes an absolutely fantastic old fashioned. And on our website, spiritsusa.com, we have our own recipe for an old fashioned where we're using a little bit of um, banana, some orange bitters, um, some vermouth, and oh my God, it's absolutely delicious. So the bourbon makes a fantastic cocktail and then the, the vodka, as smooth as the vodka is, it makes tremendous, even martinis, if you wanted a traditional vodka tonic, vodka lemonade, cranberry orange, the flavor is just phenomenal. And you can also drink it completely neat with just a couple of cubes of ice because of how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour 100 with me. Oh. You froze up on my screen, buddy. You know, you're frozen on mine. There you go, you just froze up. Um, yeah, and we have, a, we have, of course, the thunderstorm. We're down the street. Oh, it's a storm. Yeah, storm coming through. You know, so I, I like to see that. Um, there's, some, there's some good legs on the glass. Yep. Like that. Cheers, Chris. Oh, yeah, within the glass. Yep. Cheers, man. Cheers. With my Stave and Thief, uh, Glenn Cairn, everybody. Chris, do you know much about the, the Stave and Thief Society? So it's, a, um, it's an educational uh, society out of Louisville uh, put on by the uh, uh, Kentucky Distillers Association. Okay. It is it is the training arm to basically uh, if there's something close to a wine sommelier for bourbon, uh, that's what it is. So um, uh, I encourage everybody. I'll, I'll be doing some certified bourbon, uh, con uh, some certified uh, bourbon steward classes here in North Atlanta um, as soon as all this clears up. So everyone's welcome to come out and uh, enjoy that. And it's a wonderful uh, day of uh, of fun and a little bit of history and lessons. And you, can get, uh, you can get certified in the State and Thief Society, and it's it's a very uh, uh, motivated uh, enthusiast group um, uh, whose whose goal is to uh, educate and also to enjoy. So I'll make sure and be sharing this with all of them because this, oh, this is good. You know, so so what what I immediately notice, you know, it's a it's a it's a hundred and proof, and you get the profile, but you can already tell that it's 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 going to be much more of a gentle giant. <laughs> and the exact same thing on the front great rye bite you get the oak you get some corn in there yep and then it just it just goes on by and then it, and then it welcomes you down here it lets you know that it got there a little bit of a hug down there and, th and that's the thing for most bourbon connoisseurs you know they you're used to the heat you're always used to it because no matter what you drink, no matter how smooth right. that, you know, that a bourbon says it is, at the end of the day, there's always that pack of heat. Um, right. And so when you, when you drink a Legends and you don't have that, your first initial thought is, that's strange. Yeah. Because you, you, you expect it and it's not there. And then when it hits you in the belly and you get that warm sensation, that's when it really yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm. But, uh, but the fact that we can keep the profile, so you've still got the rye on the tongue, you've got the taste of the oak, you've got the, the, the hints of the barley, very, very minimalistic hints of the barley, the corn, right. and then nothing here, and then the warmth. The warmth is what I love. Right. You know, I, I said the other day that, that, uh, that I, the, uh, the 87 was really interesting to me. Um, now, I'm, now I'm very much, um, they, they were kind of doing this, and now, now the 100 is starting to, to lift up because we're sitting here sipping on it. And, and the, the irony is I see, uh, I sense no difference um, in, that, uh, in that profile or the effect that it has. There was the, the, the 100 is, is to me as easy drinking as the 87. Sure. Which, which is um, astonishing. <laughs> the fact that they, that they would taste so similar like that, uh, yeah. astonishing. But it, again, a very easy drinker. Yeah, so we, the way that we promote the 87 is more of a Sessions bourbon. Mm -hmm. Something you can crack open with a group of friends, pour several glasses, enjoy it. Uh, the 100 is more of a gift for yourself. Something where you, you pour a glass every now and again and sip it and really enjoy it. Um, 87, we say go nuts. Well, and Chris, make sure to let everybody know uh, before I forget the price point on this, I think is important as well. Yeah, so, uh, so 
going back to the vodka, for instance, uh, the vodka's varying uh, anywhere between 21 to maybe like $24, depending on which package store you go to and, right. and area, obviously. The uh, 87 bourbon, right now we've been seeing it anywhere as low as about $34, anywhere as high as about 39 And then the 100 bourbon, we, we try to keep that uh, not at the super high point. So right now we're seeing about 50, 55 to about $60 max. Mm -hmm. And right now it's available in North Georgia. It is, yep. So we, we hit the Forsyth area, especially in Cumming. Uh, we're in the package stores there. We're in Sewanee, uh, in Dawsonville. Uh, we just started shipping out to Dawson Fine Wine and Spirits. We've hit Hall County pretty hard. We're about to start shipping out of there and uh, North and South Gwinnett. Uh, we're working on our Atlanta uh, distribution, which we've got a couple of uh, people in, intrigued with us. So we're trying to work out that deal. So we hopefully will have the Atlanta market, Cobb, uh, Fulton and DeKalb pretty soon and then well, uh, eventually we'll start shipping out of state but not till we're ready yeah and and I will tell everybody who, who's, who's watching and listening you know as soon as this starts to clear up I'll be back up in Kentucky pretty uh, uh, extensively and I will make sure and have some of this with me because um, uh, some people need to try it just as a very very unique product offering uh, in the market so I'll make sure and carry some up there uh, there's plenty of things available in Kentucky uh, that we can't get down here, aren't distributed down here. So I love to have something that I can bring up there and say, "Yeah, <laughs> I'll bring some, but you can't, you can't have it yet." I mean, and the, and the really cool thing for you doing that for us, which we greatly appreciate, is that the, Kentucky is the market. That right. is the bourbon capital of the world. Sure. You know, so to get feedback from people that um, that know what they're doing, first of all, they know what they're doing in Kentucky. That would be really cool to hear the feedback from somebody that's used to drinking nothing but Kentucky bourbon. And all of a sudden, they're trying something quite unique. The, the feedback I'm, I'm, I'm excited about getting back. Well, and the source of it, MGP, is extremely well thought of as well. So there's oh, no yeah. arguing that. The longer this goes, the, the longer those legs get on the glass. That's, that's very good to see. It, it, this, this does not, um, uh, it, it holds the profile. It does not taste thin, uh, no. if, if that makes sense. That's what I'm watching for, and I'm not, I'm not getting that. Yeah, well, the, the 100 is a double barrel too, so we're gonna double barrel, barrel mash. So you're gonna get a lot more of the oak than the 87. Mm -hmm. uh, I find with the 87, it's, uh, on the back end, it's got a little bit of sweetness, whereas you don't get that with the 100. Uh, the oak definitely takes over the, the sweetness uh, with that. So the, the profile is definitely there. Like I said, the legs are there on the glass. Uh, the reason we went with MGP is because we know that what they're producing is world-class. Right. There's a reason why thousands of products are out on the market using MGP. Right. The difference is a lot, of pro a lot of product out there, they don't promote where they get it from. They try and hide it. We are not ashamed of where we're getting our product from. MGP is a master distillery that knows what they're doing. Yes, they are. And so we're, we're more than happy to, to buy from them, stock from them, and then, and then sell what we are producing using their that mash. You know, Chris, talking about um, um, Kentucky and traveling around up there, you know, tourism obviously has, has just exploded up there. Uh, with oh, the yeah. what, what do you guys have plans? Do you have any plans for, for uh, the operations here in regards to visitors when they show up, um, you know, additional places to, to see or hang out? We do. So the facility that we're in right now, our distillery is 3,700 square feet. And we outgrew that in less than three months. So we end up having to get the building next door to us and expand to 20,000 square feet to handle the production. And with that, we're building the 2,000 square foot bar and tasting room. Mm -hmm. And uh, that should be ready, hopefully by, by fall. Uh, we've met with the designer, we've met with the architect, so we know how the build out's gonna be. We're building a 21st century distillery bar. Uh, so it's not gonna be the traditional distillery bar where it's wood on the walls, oak barrels for tables, the same old spiel that most distilleries follow because it's the traditional way of building them. We're going ultra sleek, ultra modern 21st century with the bar. And uh, we'll be uh, hosting tours, doing tasting sessions. And then Thursday through Sunday, we'll be opening up. We're gonna have live music on Saturdays, food trucks Thursday through Sunday. It'll be a really cool place just to come hang out, have some cocktails. We're gonna be serving alcoholic ice cream because we have a Daddy-O's, which is in Sugar Hill. It's a Irish pub that specializes yeah. in ice cream. Yes, uh, we worked out a deal with them, and they started producing uh, Legends Bourbon ice cream and Legends Vodka ice cream, and it is delicious. That's a great place. That is a really great place. It yeah, is, it is irreverent. I love it. It is a great. Oh place. my God! They they made a bourbon um, bread pudding, 
a bourbon caramel apple pie and a vodka sunrise, which is a creamsicle, orange creamsicle with blueberry sauce. And if you're, if you're watching your weight, forget it. <laughs> it's so I don't think during, during all this mess, I don't know. I don't know if anybody, no. I know people are trying to, you know, make sure and get exercise in, but I don't think anyone's stepping on the scales these days. Uh, you know, I, I, on Facebook, I'm shocked on how many of my friends on Facebook have been doing the home gym mm -hmm. and they've been losing weight. And I'm just, no, that's that not is, me. <laughs> that is great for them. That is yeah. great for them. It's not uh, good for me. I prefer online Zoom meetings and interviews where we're tasting bourbon. I mean, life has to have a purpose, and this is a good purpose. That's, that's right. That bar sounds swanky, Chris, but, you know, oh, we are in Atlanta, so that's, that's, a good, that's a good fit, even though we're in the exurbs of Atlanta. That's yeah. cool. I'm interested, I'm interested to see that very much. Well, we're going to be launching the – we actually have a, a, an artist doing the renderings for us. We're having a 3D rendering of the bar created visually for on computer so we're actually going to put that out there with a kickstarter to help us kind of bring in some of the funds and see if our customers can give us a hand in in funding this thing it's sure. very expensive uh we've got a budget for it but we want to also give people ownership so we're going to have a, ki a kickstarter in place i'll probably have that within the next month but it'll have a full 3d rendering of what the bar is going to look like so you'll get a really cool idea of what it is it's going to be miraculous dude this, this, i've already sat down and, and gone over the the designer and he started showing sketches and stuff blew my mind that's uh, phenomenal that is yeah. phenomenal so it, again if anybody is interested in this um reach out to me direct message me um i can certainly bring some samples uh, up to kentucky we, we obviously have a number of our bourbon friends that are here in atlanta um and and legends uh, uh bourbon is up here spirits usa is incoming georgia just up georgia 400 yeah. Uh, you can certainly call ahead and come by and pick up a bottle or two. One of each would be wonderful. And I will say their vodka uh, is, is really good as well. There's some, uh, some uh, cocktail bar contacts that I'm going to be very interested in, in, uh, in having them try out the, the, uh, the vodka in some of the cocktails as well. It was very, very encouraging. Um, the goal of vodka is to be tasteless. Uh, and some of us on the bourbon side will make a joke about that. But in that, of course. Goal, in that goal, it is, I, I will say, it is perfect. It is some of the best vodka that I think I've ever tried. If that is why it's yeah. award-winning and 2019 vodka of the year. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get it chilled. You know, I want to oh, get yeah. it you know, really, really oh, iced down, or put some over ice, and see how it tastes on that uh, in some uh, in some martinis. It'd be really, really good. Yeah, I keep a bottle of vodka on my shelf for show, but I've got two yeah. bottles in the freezer ready to go. <laughs> and it's the best way to serve it right out of the freezer. You don't even have to put it on ice. Just pour it in a glass and start sipping a little uh, splash of lemon or lime. Right, you're golden. Well, this is, this is phenomenal. Chris, um, thank you so much for the time today. And uh, again, everybody, it is Legends Bourbon um, Spirits USA, but I think uh, on, uh, on Instagram, you can follow them at, is it Legends Distillery or Legends Bourbon? It's Legends Spirits. Legends so uh, Spirits. Legends underscore Spirits, because we push obviously the vodka and the bourbon. Mm -hmm. Our website is spiritsusa.com. And then so you have all the details on that. Follow them at Legends underscore Spirits, and uh, we will see you soon. Cheers, everybody. Have a great weekend. Cheers.